do you uh, what do you take from this season as far as the experience you've gained and you know, how it's going to help you in the future? Uh, I take a lot away from this season, for real. It's a big season for me. My first time actually really playing. So there's a lot of things I need to like clean up. But I feel like I did a good job of understanding how college football works this year. That was really my main goal. Figure things out. I feel like I did that. So it was a really good, impactful season for me, for sure. Uh, we just gotta be more detailed. Gotta clean up a little bit of things uh, for this Boston College game for sure. But for real, for real, it's just all about we just gotta win it more than the other team. What have you seen from your guys in that position, the linebackers? How you guys have uh, I guess grown throughout the season, and how much do you think? Um, uh, Brandon has been an important part of uh, you learn, learning these past six seasons as well. I feel like our linebacker group has taken a lot of steps throughout the season, a lot of big steps. And that's a big shout out to B. George for sure. He is, from the day one, he has been like a great leader to us. He's been directing us and on the right paths. Like, he's been knowing this playbook for forever. So, little things he's telling us, like little keys he's giving us. George, I got love for him. That's a, that's a great role model, big person to be around, great leader, so that's definitely my dog. Sure. Um, has Coach Mantle helped you with Kyle and, and Braylon and um, the other guys um, how has he helped you guys get to the point where you're playing, you know, um, your, what, your sophomore, um, to be able to be a full-time starter your second year? Uh, he played a very big part. He just, his big thing for us is just Make a play, be ball players, and I feel like he just gave us that, like, gave us that, be like in the back of our minds every time we lining up. Like, obviously he wants to do our job, but he don't ever wants to go one for one. He wants to be a ball player and make a play. So I feel like that helped me, K. Lou, Bray, B. G. That helped us all a lot. Like that little just be a ball player, just make a play. Like he gives us a freedom to do different things, like that past linebackers wasn't doing here for real. So that's a big, that's big in Coach Manny. He helped us with that a lot. You spent last year learning the defense, but how much has your understanding of it grown from being on the field all season? Well, it's grown a lot. Like, now I'm knowing what the D line is doing, I know what the secondary is doing, I know why we do different coverage checks, why D line do different things. So, it's been on the field really helped a lot because you actually get to be a part of it. You get to, you feel me, make a couple mistakes, but learn from them. Like, so I like being on the field helped me a lot learning this defense, especially because it's so aggressive. There's so many like different parts, but like being a linebacker too, it's a lot of different things you gotta like know. Because being a linebacker, you gotta know the people in front of you doing and behind you. So being on the field, I think that really just it boosted my knowledge of the defense. Seven, seven games to start. Same attitude we approach with every week for real, for real. But we know last time our seniors get to have a regular season game. So we definitely trying to do everything we can in our will to go out with a win, have our seniors go out regular season game on the right path for sure. So for real, for real, just be better than the other team one and more. You know, mindset. What have you seen from Boston College and Young Uh They want to run the ball for sure. They got a good quarterback, a good facilitator of the offense. I mean, it's an NFL offense, so it's a lot of different, a lot of different things, like a lot of different pieces. But for real, for all they want to do, they want to run the ball. That's what we got to stop for real, for real. What's it gonna take to snap this skip for you guys this year? Uh, just one more than the other team. That's all it, that's all it can do me, or all it come down to. You just gotta want it more. Gotta be uh, keep dialed in on everything this week. Just gotta go out there and execute. How you got? Excuse me. How are you guys playing to spend Thanksgiving? Uh, our coach uh, Manila, he having a little get together for us. He cooking, so we going. Our linebacker group can go over there. His house? Yeah, he's there. Chop it up with Manny. Spend some time with his fam. He does that every year, doesn't he? Yeah. What has uh, Jeremiah shown you in his first season with the team? I mean, I know you, you as a freshman got a chance to play, but he's obviously got a chance to play as well. What have you seen from him? Jeremiah, he gonna be he gonna be a real great player here. Like 
the way he like get down here, the way he the way he key in on things, the way he like talks in the meeting room, the way he like just carries himself like in a hoe, he gonna be nice. Like next year we expect him to play a lot for us next year. And he got a little saying called eat face. That's his little thing. He got us doing it. We do this. That's what you feel me. We eat in players' faces. So shout out to Jeremiah. He definitely he's a guy. I ain't gonna lie. He's he's a guy. Ace. Yeah. That's what. What did, what, what did you say the first time he said that to you? I ain't know, dude. I'm like, bro, what? I'm like, eat face. I'm like, yeah, you eat your face. But it definitely paid off in the game because he always makes you always remind me before the game. You get a big tackle, make a big play, but it's selling you up for me. I hit it for him a couple times this year. That's my dog. He gonna be, he gonna be a great player here. I ain't gonna lie. You, you think him and Brandon will probably be the main guys for you guys in the middle next year? Yeah, definitely. Them two guys, Braylon, Jeremiah, definitely will be the main two guys in the middle for us for sure. So then, I mean, you feel like there's a good chance to sort of take the success you guys have had this year and carry it over, like really build on it? Oh, yeah, definitely for sure. So we talk about is just being great. But obviously, we try to get finished this year up strong. Next year, we're going to come. We're going to keep it going. It could be even better. Definitely that. Looking forward to a, to a bowl game. I mean, I know you've been talking about the SBC. Looking forward to you know, a little bit of reward. Yeah, I ain't never. It's been my first time being able to experience a bowl game, so I'm really excited for it. I want to see what's it all about, how it, how it works, and stuff like that. Definitely. How have you seen Kyle uh, grow this year from last year to this year? It's a big growth. Like, like in practice, you know, you always see a player make plays, like. Even in the game, he makes a couple plays here and there, but like this year is just consistently, consistent. Like every down he in, he's like trying to make a play. We know he can make the play. So, K. Lewis has a, a great year. He stepped up in a leader. Uh, even in the film room, he watched a lot of extra film too. So it's just a lot of things he has done to make himself, to put himself in the spot to be a great player. And this year, he really just got to show it off. He got like opportunity. So yeah, he's been a. Big time player this year for sure. When you were preparing uh, another season, did you think that he would have the year he's had? Yeah, definitely. Like during campus stuff, maybe in the off season, like when we were just working out, me and him, like when we just watched the defense, we'd be like, bro, these are the type of plays that we want. Like we want this to happen. Like it's gonna be easy for us. So we, I definitely knew he was gonna have a big year this year. Like, yeah, for sure. Any final? Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you.